Because these are pretty hands. <laughs> we are going to be drawing a bat. This is going to be our Halloween edition. And so I have a little doodle book that you can purchase. Um, and it looks like this. And it's how to draw a stick figure and so much more. And there's stick figures, there's animals, there's unicorns, there's llamas, there's sloths. We've got tons of animals, cowgirls, cowboys, uh, pirates, you name it. Um, also in here is a step-by-step -step on how to draw a bat. Yeah. You and just you can find get it. one of these today. That's right. Reese is my little salesman. Okay, I know it's in here. I just got to find it. And here it is. Okay. So we're going to follow these step-by-step -step directions on how to draw a bat. And they'll look kind of like this one. And I'm also going to show you how to draw this simpler one too. All right. So first, we're going to start off. First step with a circle, and I love to use a pencil. So we've got a circle. I'm gonna draw it right here in the middle. A nice little circle. And my circles <laughs> never look straight at first. So I just kind of draw it several times until I get it how I want it to look. Mine too. Then I'm going to draw kind of like our steps in the book shows. We want to draw kind of like a V right here. So I'm going to kind of start in the middle and a little bit this way, a little this way. And I kind of drew it light at first until I like it. That way if I'm like, oh, don't like that, I can erase it. So this way. All right, that looks pretty much the same. Okay, then I'm going to, um, I kind of put a little bit of a dot right here and here here in the middle. So see how this is the middle? Here my line comes out. Then I know it's going to attach. So I'm going to round it. Kind of round it right there. How you doing, Reese? You Dad, doing good over there? Okay. I'm not really catching up though. Okay. You can go at your own speed. Here's the book right here too. Okay, then this part is going to be different down here. And make sure at first it looks like a spider. Yeah, it looks kind of like a spider at first, huh? Yeah. And the then, it. instead of going like this and reaching to it, bats actually have two little curves for their wings. So curve there. Funny story, my parents on the weekend, as a hobby, would go and map caves. They were cavers for Idaho. And they would also count bats for the government to let them know um, how many bats were in the caves, to let them know how the bat population is because bats are actually very important. I'll tell you more about that later. Okay, I thought that was very normal. It actually is not normal to have parents go caving on the weekend and count bats, <laughs> but it was fun. All right, okay, so now we are going to, now that we have the little curves here, we're gonna draw lines. We want one line this way. We're connecting these little points here. And that's kind of like in a bat wing. You can see, I don't know if they're veins. Oh boy, my mom and dad are gonna watch this video and think they failed because I did not know much about bats. Okay, then they have, I do know they have kind of like little thumbs right here because these wings are actually like their arms. So they have, we're gonna put a cute little bump right here, okay? Then um, bats definitely have cute little feet. So I'm gonna do a little bump here and a bump here for the feet. Now, bats are actually furry. And so I'm going to draw some cute little fur on mine. And this is where I'm going to kind of erase it so I can kind of see it. And I'm gonna draw fur on everything. Little squiggles. Yeah, the squiggles are not, not sharp squiggles, just kind of soft squiggles. And that kind of looks like fur. Just some little squiggles, looks kind of furry. Just some little squiggles on the feet, because the feet, actually the feet aren't furry, but mine will. Okay, then we need to draw some ears. So my ears... Bats actually have really big ears. There's actually lots and lots of different kinds of bats. And my parents could tell you all about that. All right, I'm gonna make the ears furry. You know what though? 
I can't remember if Bat's ears are furry, but mine are. All right. Actually, I'm pretty sure they are because you cats think they ears are? are furry, so, and a part of their body is furry. So yeah. A certain part, the insides are, but the outsides are. You know what? We're going to send this video to Grandma and Grandpa and have them give us some details. Okay, I think my bat is going to be a teenage boy, and he's going to want some cool spiked hair. Does that look cool? Mine doesn't like spiked hair. Okay. He's a baby. Okay, now we're going to do two dots for eyes. And because this is a Halloween edition one, we're going to make this a vampire bat. And here's his mouth. And we're gonna add a vampire teeth. So a little triangle there and there. Isn't he adorable? Oh my goodness. Now if you wanted, you could take a pen and outline it and then erase his pencil. But I kind of like the pencil look. Okay, now we're gonna do um, a different one here. It looks almost the same, but a maybe a little more simple, but a little different. This one's got a cute big head, okay? Remember, just a light circle. And then, so a, a perfect little circle. Then we're gonna do a smaller body, okay? This one's just all together. This one's gonna have two parts. Here's the head, and then here's the body. He's gonna go around this way and this way. So it's kind of like an oval that attaches to the circle, okay? Now, I'm gonna make a little dot right out from here, okay? Right out from here. Remember, the wings are their arms, okay? And then I'm gonna have it do a nice arch. That's gonna be his cute wing right there. See how this one goes this way? This one's gonna be a little more simple and go this way. Then we're going to make a little dot here. So it's kind of the same from here to here are all kind of the same lengths. Yes, about right here. Ready, mommy. Okay. I'm gonna flip to the next page. Oh, okay. okay, then same thing here. You want it to go inside. So it's kind of like a half circle this way. And that's what kind of gives it the bat look. Okay. And scoop it in, scoop it in. Okay, now our bats are gonna have the cute little thumbs, so we'll kind of put them right here. And then we need, I don't, this is kind of bothering me right here, so that's why I like my pencil. I'm gonna come back in and kind of fix him. Don't like it cutting his face off. Okay, I fixed it. Now I'm gonna have cute little feet. And then I'm going to add his ears. It's kind of like a triangle, but it's kind of um, rounded. And the bigger, the better, because bats have really big ears. And then we're going to squiggle, 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 make it a little lighter. And do kind of squiggles, because I like my bat to be a little bit hairy. And you know what? I feel like my bat wings just aren't big enough. So you know what? I'm gonna erase it. And guess what? I do that a lot. I erase things a lot. Okay, I want it to be just a little bigger. There we go, that looks better. And then I'll put my line right here in the middle of these two and go here. And maybe you like small wings. I don't know, now I can't decide. Was the small one better or the big one better? Hmm, never mind. I'm going back to small. I think I like it small. And that's the fun part with doodling is that you can just keep changing your mind over and over again. Okay, back to this one. Put my little line in the middle. And I can kind of tell where it goes. Okay. Okay, my little thumb's back on. Okay, now it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm going to draw the lines just one here and here. Let's see. Let's do it here, from here to here. That looks pretty good. It's kind of, there's not really a, 
a hard uh, place to start. Okay, then we've got add his little toes here. We've got make some little furry ears. Okay. Nice little smile and some vampire teeth. Mom. Isn't that the cutest bat? Mm -hmm. Reese, you're doing so good. Okay. <laughs> you keep you keep working on yours while I tell everyone a little story really fast, okay? Does that sound good? Okay. So my mom <laughs> Oh, she probably won't like that I told this story, but that's okay. So my mom and dad um, um, used to go and work in caves a lot, and they would map. And if you've been to Craters of the Moon in Idaho, um, so many of the caves out there, they have helped map. And anyways, for a while there, they really got into bats, and they love bats and want to protect bats. And so they had a special contraption called a harp net. A harpy net? A harp net. Something like that. And they would put it outside of a cave. And um, the bats, and it was kind of like a net. And so when the bats would leave at night, they could fly through the first layer of streams. But then the second layer was this way. And they'd get caught and they would fall down. It wouldn't hurt them, but it would kind of capture them. My parents would wear thick gloves and they would go over and grab the bat and then they would open its wings and identify it because there's lots of different bats. And they were able to keep track of how many bats and all the different kinds of bats that were living in that cave so they could give their report and they would come different times of the year to report how the bats are doing because you want a good population of bats, especially out in these caves. Anyways, my mom was identifying this one bat and it was called a hoary bat which his name is Hori because it's kind of horrible and mean. Anyways, this bat, she was identifying it, and it bit her. It bit through her glove and bit her. So my mom had to go <laughs> to the hospital and get rabies shots. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. You have to get quite a few, like, you know, every few weeks or months or something, she had to get a lot of rabies shots. And so we teased her forever that she had to get rabies shots. And we're like, oh no, mom's going to have rabies. <laughs> Anyways, that was my story to say that I have a very cool mom, um, that she was willing to do that. And they still think bats are just the best things ever. Anyways. All right, Reese, how is yours looking? Oh my gosh. I love your cheeks. Okay, are you ready to show everyone? I'm worried that yours looks better than mine, Reese. That looks so good. Okay, everyone's on the edge of their seats in anticipation. Can we show them? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see it. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh, here's Reese's. Oh my goodness. I love how you added the cheeks. I love the mouth. Oh, and I love this how it's an open mouth. It's kind of like in the book, huh? In the book, it has an open mouth like that, and the fangs are inside of the mouth. Oh, my goodness. That is so cute. High five. Nailed it. All right. If you would like to see other things, let us know. Reese, you know how to end these videos better than I do. Yeah. What do we say now? And check out today for your book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let us know if you'd like a drawing book. Man, you're a good salesman. <laughs> okay, do we say anything like signing off or something? Uh, maybe. Like, like and subscribe? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay, you say it. Um, see you later. Let us know if you want to do any other drawings, like mermaid ones. And if you see, and if you have a book like this that you ordered, then you can pick out one and tell us which one you want to do. Like it. Okay. Like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.